uh, Isabel, what the heck are you doing? Why are you pouring super glue into that cardboard box? No reason really, Edge, just to do a little prank, like this. Not bad, Edge. You look good as a female meowstick Pokemon. Isabel, this is not. Oh my goodness, what happened to my voice? That would be the voice changer I paid extra for that. Oops, I almost forgot one more thing. Wah, what is that, Isabel? Perfume, to help finish the look. Isabel, don't you dare spray that. <coughs> On me. Remind me again, why am I dating a dog? Maybe because you like to have a rough time. Sans, will you get out of here? You're not even supposed to be in this parody. Oh, Greg, just what I need. Critics in stereo. I know when I'm not wanted. I'm out of here. Anyway, let's get going, Edge. Trick or treating doesn't wait. Oh, great, I have to spend the entire night dressed like this. Hopefully nobody tries to hit on me. Well, at least nobody will be able to notice me or recognize my voice with this voice changer add-on. The only downside is I have to come up with a fake female name. I'm sure I'll come up with an evening time, and hopefully nobody asked me what my name is. I can't believe what you have done to me Isabel forced me to go trick or treating like this. Oh come on Edge it's not like the super glue is going to last forever it will offering at least a day or two. Oh are you too adorable those are some great meostic costumes. Oh and your little girlfriend is kind of cute at all. She's the girlfriend not me, Oog. Forget it I'm out of here I'm moving to the next house. Oh come on don't go away mad. Sorry about that enjoy the rest of your night happy Halloween. Hey B F wait for me. Huh, what was that about Sophie? Honestly, I she don't know and I don't think I want to know what's going on with to the tooth. So, as I was saying to Bobazer, that you really should check out. Hey there, big boys. Care to have some of this candy? Hey, I see that first. Licking hot, baby. Isabel, did I mention how much I hate you right now? 99,999 times to be exact. Okay, Isabel, the first need to know, are you some kind of math whiz? I literally work in an office for the mayor and knowing simple math is essential to getting the job done. That actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you're not good with numbers, you won't be very useful in an office building now, would you? Hey, you lady. Why don't you chew up the scaredy cat and get rid of real men? And things just got from bad to worse I literally getting hit on by some random dude thanks a lot Isabel. In my defense I didn't expect this to happen sorry Edge. Well here we are Edge. This is the person I said who could probably help us. Tom Nook? Seriously, what can he do for us, Isabel? Well, since I figured since he's where I got your costume from who knows more about it than him. If that's the case, then let's go see him already, Isabel. The fact that I can go to the bathroom while wearing this costume, not to mention the boys downstairs have mysteriously disappeared, it's starting to concern me. Ah, oh, welcome back, Isabel. Oh, and who is this lovely lady with you? Lady. Isabel. No, this is my boyfriend Edge, you know the Edge right now. You mean the you when you're apparently dating? Wait, you gave the costume to him? And now we can't get it off of him. Only because you thought it would be funny to super glue it onto me as a joke, Isabel. Honestly, I think it's more than just super glue giving you a to your skin, Edge. Wait a minute. Maybe I can make a little bit of money over this. So that's why we're here Tom because you probably have a way of getting Edge out of the suit. Before we get into that Isabel, there's a certain little side which I need some help with. If you don't mind, then give me a hand in it. Whatever it takes to get out of this nightmare, we'll do it. Excellent. Now, follow me and I'll show you what you'll have to do for my little side job. I immediately regret my decision. Tom Nooks when you asked me to help you with a little business endeavor. This is not what I thought you meant. Terribly sorry it is, but I figured if I told you, you'd be to help me. 
But don't worry, it's not like you're redoing this alone. This is karma for the super glue prank, isn't it right, Edge? What do you think, Dog Breath? My word, Edge. Is that they ready to speak to your girlfriend like that? If she super glued you into a female outfit, you would be feeling the same way I am right now about her. Hmm. Fair enough, Ed. Oh, before we get started, Sherry, you're up now. So this is the client? Indeed, Shen. I would like you to do Yow Sticks makeup before we get done on our little business. You're the boss, Tom. Well, there you go, Tom. If you need me for anything else, I'll be in the break room. And just like that my hatred has switched from Isabel to you, Tom. Hey, Edge, what do you think of me Halloween costume? Sophie, do you even know who that character is? Of course, Edge, I know who I am. I'm Shailoh Venus from Sailor um, Moon. Sophie, that's not Sailor Venus. You're Sailor Mars. How can you tell the difference, Edge? It's pretty obvious. You see, Sailor Mars' outfit is red. Where Seller Venus's outfit is more of an orange yellow color. Well, somebody's always going at that center scout. Who, Sophie? Who is going at Seller Venus? Dr. Alpheus. Okay, time though, we helped you with your little business endeavor and end up getting makeup on me. Now you keep your part of the bargaining and get me out of this suit. Oh, about that, bitch. I cannot help you with that. What? You said you could get me out of this. Now, Ed, if you recall, I never said I could get you out of the suit. I simply just asked for your assistance on a loose side job, so I technically didn't lie to you. So you technically played us, is that what you're saying, Tom? No. Like a fiddle, Isabel. Well, that's just great. Come on, Isabel, we'll find someone else to help me get this costume off. That would be impossible, Eds, considering it's not a costume anymore. Exactly what do you mean by not a costume anymore, Tom? Well, you see, the female costumes come with a little curse for any males who might wear them. At first, why did you tell me that before I bought it, Tom? It was mentioned in the instruction manual, Isabel. Who reads instruction manuals nowadays? Well, if you did read the instruction manual, Isabel, you would find out if a male wears that costume for over 24 hours, it will be permanently transformed into that character. Wait, so you're saying I'm a real female meowstic Pokemon? What do I do now then? My advice, stay away from Pokemon. Balls and Pokemon trainers. We're heading home now, it's Isabel, and expect to be sleeping on the couch for the next year. Oh, what is this monstrosity? Isabel, what are you up to this time? My Edge, I'm glad you're here. I think I finally found a way of solving your costume problem. I borrowed it from Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. He calls it the Gender Bender Morphinator. It should change you back into a male undoing the little problem I put you in. Considering your last plan has us going to Tom Nook who ended up scamming us and forcing us to kiss a whole bunch of random dudes, and half of them didn't even brush their teeth, so you can see how I'm a little skeptic on your plan. I'm trying to help Edge, please, just trust me. Considering I don't want anybody else to know about this I mean it's already bad enough that Tom Nook knows and he exploited it I don't want anybody else to know so I really don't have a choice in the matter do I? Thank you Edge I promise. I will make this right. Um, Isabel, are you sure this is safe? Well yeah, I mean pretty sure. Kynes ensured me you wouldn't die from it at least. That's not too reassuring, it's Isabel. Well, I might be a hedgehog now, but at least the boys are back in town. Andrew, are you okay down there? Isabel, what have you done to me this time? I am so sorry, Edge. It seems there was a shrink option on the later I'll fix this, but first I need to find a place to keep you safe. 
I guess I'll just have to put you in my skirt pocket. Wait, you have a pocket on your skirt? Since when? I always had a pocket on my skirt edge. I just never had an opportunity to use it before. So what do you think of your temporary new home edge? Honestly, it's a lot cleaner than I expected it to be, Isabel. Speaking of bells, I found one in your pocket. I've been wondering where my lucky bell went. You keep me on it while you're in there.